in a slowly developing but groundbreaking medical procedure, a pig's heart was successfully and permanently transplanted into a man in America. The process is called xenotransplantation, where an organ or cells or tissues are transplanted from one species into another. In this latest procedure, a genetically modified pig's heart was transplanted into a 57-year-old man called David Bennett Sr. at the University of Maryland Medical Center. In this video, we'll look at how this procedure that has been plagued with organ rejection and death was performed, how the pig was modified and how the patient is doing since the transplant. I'm Sandhya Ramesh and this is Pure Science. David Bennett suffered from a life-threatening heart disease and he was at end-stage organ failure where there was literally nothing else medically that could be done for his heart. He was on a heart-lung machine or the cardiopulmonary bypass which was keeping him alive. He was too sick to qualify for a human donor and doctors had concluded that there was no other established treatments available to him. So Bennett opted for this experimental procedure of receiving a genetically modified pig's heart. Xenotransplantation has been attempted for a while going back hundreds of years, but it has been documented through the 20th century. In 1905, the first modern documented instance of the procedure occurred in France, where pieces of a rabbit's kidney were transplanted into a human child who was suffering from kidney disease. Next year, grafts from a pig and a goat were transplanted into the elbow of a person, again in France. In 1910, in Germany, there was an attempt to transplant kidneys from apes, from non-human primates into humans. In 1923, in New York, someone transplanted a lamb kidney into a human and so on. But all of these cases resulted in failure because the bodies, the human bodies eventually went on to reject the organs and the patients died. Soon, scientists started to then understand what the immune response was that was causing the rejection of organs. This then led to a sharp drop in xenotransplantations, but the interest in these procedures climbed again when immunosuppressive drugs started to be manufactured. So then, since the 50s and 60s, there have been more complex attempts at xenotransplantation and mostly by transplanting kidneys into humans. There was a famous experiment in Tulane University where 13 people who were close to dying had chimpanzee hearts transplanted in them. All of them died except for one patient who went on to die after nine months. Then eventually the interest in transplanting primate organs in humans dissipated. Nine months is still to date the longest a xenotransplant recipient has lived. Then in 1984, an American infant, now famously known as Baby Faye, had a heart defect at birth. She became the first infant recipient of a xenotransplanted organ and received a baboon's heart. She then died 21 days later because her body rejected the heart. Such procedures, both legally and illegally, have been occurring throughout the world, including in India. In 1997, an infamous attempt was made to transplant a pig's heart into a human in Assam illegally, and the patient eventually died. But just last year, another patient at NYU received a pig's heart that was temporarily connected externally to him. However, this latest procedure is the first ever procedure where a transplant, a xenotransplant, has been successful and all early monitoring signs, much advanced than they were earlier, show stability. It's been about two weeks now since the transplant and it appears all is well so far. Bennett is still on the heart-lung machine but will be taken off it or already has. So why do so many of these experimental transplant procedures, especially organ ones, want to use pigs now? Because using pigs is in fact highly medically beneficial. They are easier to grow and raise and their organs reach adult human organ size by the age of just six months. 
We've already used pig heart valves a lot for transplanting into humans and we've also used pig pancreas tissues in humans. In fact, even pig skin is used as a temporary graft for victims of burning. But the pig used in this experiment had another advantage, which was that it was genetically modified. Because the organs from pigs grow so quickly, it is more efficient in them to perform any kind of gene editing with enough time to monitor progress and also to monitor for immune reactions and diseases. Additionally, six months is exceptionally good. Organs for patients can actually be made ready in time after the need for them arises. The pig used here was genetically modified by a company called Revivicore in Virginia. 10 gene modifications were made. Four of these were genes that were switched off in the pig, among which there was a gene that has a powerful rejection immune response and another inactivated gene was the growth gene. So this prevented the heart from growing in size after transplantation into a human. There were six additional genes that were inserted into the pig genome, which made the pig's organs more human friendly and more easily accepted by human immune systems. The immunosuppressive drug that was used in this experimental procedure was also a new experimental drug and the surgery received emergency authorization from the US FDA and was performed on New Year's Eve. As soon as blood flow was restored to the new heart, the heart of the pig now inside Bennett, it jumped to life and has been working as expected ever since. The surgery has been clinically successful, but the patient will now be monitored regularly to ensure that there is no rejection. But the success of this, a very small step, is already a big promising development. Today, in most countries around the world, including in wealthy nations, organs are in short supply. There is always more demand for organs than there are donors. And this is true especially and even for kidneys. So such a procedure, if it becomes standard, could solve a giant problem in medical science and save thousands of lives. This is still a small first step, but over the next few years, we are likely to hear more and more about organ transplant from pigs to help save human lives.